Yeah, good morning, Crypto College. Hope you guys are doing great. Let's go over a quick little market update. All right, we got Bitcoin dominance pulled up right now. This is forming an ascending channel. Everything looks really strong. I could even extend this out further if I want to, but this is a very, very, very strong channel. Oops, I just moved my line. Okay, perfect. So 54 is where we rejected the first time. Uh, we're forming these nice little ABC uh, on the way up. I don't know if you guys have learned Elliott Wave Theory. If you guys want to learn about it, let me know. Tag me in the floor, and I give you a quick little synopsis. I'm actually looking for Bitcoin dominance to break above this and hit our 57 target for the year. That is where I believe we're going to have a massive correction. Uh, we may overshoot to 60, but I don't think so. Um, this is where all season is going to begin. When we start seeing Bitcoin dominance correct down towards below 52, 50, 48 area and, and drop below this 200 day ex exponential moving average, that's when I believe all season is going to start. Somewhere in here. All right, so keep that in mind. Economic calendar. Yesterday we had our, P our CPI came in in line, boring, nothing crazy, a little bit of volatility, but nothing nuts. PPI this morning was was in line as well. The, this is kind of a big one too. So tonight or today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard, we're gonna have our fate, Fed interest rate decision and our uh, FOMC economic projections, and more importantly, the Fed press conference. I watch this every month or every, sorry every time it comes out in the quarter, and this is something you need to pay attention to. This is going to be shaping the the dxy which has direct correlation to bitcoin and equities uh, but they're they're talking about a rate cut in march of 2024 so this is something we need to keep in mind all right bitcoin chart looks good to be honest uh it's holding the bollinger bands i mean even with this flash crash we're holding it we're holding it uh we need to just retake these emas in my opinion the most important level is going to be 42,000. we needed a couple four hour closes above 42,000. then we are solid to jump right up to our 46 after we break our local high of 44. um 48 40 50 is is, is kind of like the high-end target but that's if we really really get some good news but anyways look bitcoin looks good all right, if we look at our heat map, shoot, Cardano, AVAX, everything's doing really good. IMX, which is something that I recently picked up. It's amazing. It's a gaming chain coin. Um, this is this is the Bitcoin of, of crypto gaming is IMX. I, I suggest you pick up some if you haven't already. Beam is doing really great. Picked that up a couple weeks ago. Just something to keep in mind. If, if you don't have access to the crypto heat map and trading view, this is a very, very good way to get the consensus of the market and where we're at and how we're sitting. Um, Adam had a recent pump. Uh, let's pull up the daily. So this is a nice little good pump. I mean, we honestly haven't even broken over the yearly highs. I still think Adam is a strong contender to break over this 15, um, 15 to 17 area. And man, this thing's going to fly. But... We need to break over the yearly high first, which is going to be around 15 or so. So keep that in mind. I hope you guys are having a great day. And, you know, talk to me when, you, when in the floor if you need any help. See ya.